at 5. It is a new state law that some say does nothing but cause confusion. Welcome to News 2 at 5. I'm Haley Wilkes. And I'm Bob Mueller. We are talking about the new short barrel gun law, which went into effect in July. News 2 State Capitol Newsroom reporter Chris O'Brien shows us the law is not having the impact expected. SB 2628 made it legal in Tennessee to buy and sell short barrel shotguns and rifles. We work in a gun shop and I'm also a firearms trainer, so I'm hugely supportive of the Second Amendment. High Caliber is a gun store and training center in Nashville. Owners say there's nothing wrong with the law. It just doesn't do anything. Currently, it doesn't change anything. That's because there's already a federal law called the National Firearms Act, or NFA, in place that's allowed short barrel guns since 1934. In fact, Lane and his employees say the new law has probably caused more confusion than clarity. It's a show bill. Should in the future the, uh, the Tennessee legislature uh, will already be prepared should the NFA get abolished. The debate about guns has been prominent throughout our country the last few years. Critics of this new law say the passage of the bill is regressive despite the lack of effect. I believe it's a step in the wrong direction because it's slowly pushing the envelope and making it potentially more easier to end some of the restrictions, which some people call restrictions, I call safeguards. Of course, the Tennessee Firearms Association naturally disagrees. I think it is a step in the right direction. It, 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 it sends a message of the public policy that at least some of the legislators are holding at this point. Though Harris did agree that the new law created uncertainty. What it unfortunately has done is it's created some confusion in the public about whether or not they a person still needs to go out and if they acquire one, pay the federal tax and comply. Currently, to buy a short barrel gun, you have to pay a $200 fee for taxes, file NFA paperwork, and send in your fingerprints for a background check. We also asked Harris, the Tennessee Firearms Association director, about Tennessee firearms laws in general. He says, and I'm quoting here, they are an absolute morass. They're a disaster. Harris went on to explain that he felt the laws are written too complicated for the average person to understand. Haley.